Thank you for calling Peabody Engineering. How can we direct your call? Hi, I'm looking for some tanks to store specific chemicals, and I was wondering what yours are made of. Okay, great. Let me get someone who can answer all your plastic tank questions for you. One moment, please. Hello, I'm Mark Peabody, CEO of Peabody Engineering. We manufacture uh, plastic tanks. And a lot of times our customers call us up and they have questions that they're not sure about. And uh, it's my uh, opportunity here to uh, address some of those uh, more popular questions and give you some clear answers on things that maybe you're wondering about when making a good purchasing decision. The first question I wanted to talk about today was um, what our tanks are made of. We have uh, many customers that call us up and they say that they want to buy a polyurethane tank or a polypropylene tank or a polyethylene tank or a fiberglass tank or an FRP tank. And uh, I think really what the problem is, is people aren't really sure what these tanks are made of. So I thought I'd uh, uh, try to address those one at a time. Most of the uh, tanks that you buy in the industry today for storage of uh, chemicals or water are made uh, from a material called polyethylene. Uh, this tank right here behind me is a polyethylene tank. We have those tanks available from as small as one gallon in size up to 20,000 gallons in size. Uh, polyethylene is a very durable material. Uh, it's made uh, of an FDA uh, resin, which means you can put the food products in it, you can put potable drinking water in it, and it's also extremely chemical resistant. Uh, most of the tanks that you will uh, find on the, in the industry are made of high density linear polyethylene, which is what this is made of. Uh, another product or, or material, let's say, polymer is called polypropylene. A lot of people think these are polypropylene tanks, but they're not. Polypropylene is very similar to polyethylene in many of its properties, its molecular structure and chain. However, uh, the physical properties of polypropylene don't lend themselves to large storage tanks. Uh, a tank up to maybe 100 to 200 gallons of polypropylene is fine unsupported, but larger than that, it doesn't have really good stress crack resistance. So any sort of a water hammer or uh, uh, some type of a, of a bump uh, will cause those tanks to crack. They just aren't really made for uh, storing large amounts of liquid unless they're reinforced with an uh, uh, external coating of fiberglass, uh, which, which would solve that problem. The uh, polypropylene tanks are uh, uh, good for higher temperatures, however, in a larger tank, it's still a poor choice. Uh, the, the next product that we hear uh, questions about is polyurethane. Well, nobody really makes a polyurethane tank. Polyurethane is a rubbery substance uh, similar to the bed liners you see in many trucks nowadays. It's free on bed liners. Polyurethane is used for uh, like the super balls. When you were a kid, you had those super bouncy balls. Those are polyurethane. It's, uh, it's good for making uh, rollers for conveyor systems and those types of things, but it's not a practical uh, material to use for, for storage tank use. You can't really mold it like you can polypropylene or polyethylene or some of the other uh, rotational molding resins. It's more of a, uh, a molded product in an in a open cast mold where you get a liquid material that's catalyzed, you pour it into the mold and it cures over time. Not really practical for tanks. The last uh, uh, product that a lot of people ask for is an FRP or a fiberglass tank. FRP is fiber reinforced polymer is what that stands for. And uh, it's basically just a fancy way to say fiberglass. Now, fiberglass, you may uh, be aware of the fact that uh, a lot of uh, sports cars, like the Corvette, the body is made of fiberglass. Uh, many boats nowadays, uh, marine boats, are made of fiberglass. It's a very hard substance. It's made by taking a, uh, a fiberglass cloth material and saturating it with a polymer resin. And the fiberglass uh, cloth will absorb that polymer resin, you put a, a catalytic material in there, and what happens is you have a heat reaction and it actually sets thermally to make a hard finished product, which is what is made surfboards, uh, uh, you know, like I said, Corvettes, boats, that kind of thing is made of uh, fiberglass. If you look behind me over here, come on over here, what you see here is actually a polyethylene tank with a fiberglass coating on it. 
We do this in, in applications that uh, are more demanding than a standard polyethylene tank will handle. The fiberglass helps with a higher temperature resistance. It helps with a stiffer wall. It's uh, useful for, uh, for anchoring the tank in like a seismic uh, restraint system. Uh, if you want to put uh, any sort of uh, appurtenances, piping or ladders or that sort of thing on the side of the tank, it just makes for a, a stiffer, harder coating. It, it works really well. It's an expensive option though, so if you don't need the fiberglass for your application, uh, it's, there's no reason to, to pay the extra money. And here at Peabody, we are, are eager to help you figure out what's the best for you and to, uh, you know, to come up with the, the optimum tank for your uh, particular application. So thank you very much. And, uh, I hope to answer some more questions for you soon.